Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Gray High and today we're going to be upgrading and updating GTA 5 because Alexander Blade has dropped a brand new version for Scriptic V that's going to work with this new GTA Tuners update. So go ahead and download the files for Scriptic V. All right, we're inside the script hook folder. I'm gonna click on Ben, and you're gonna see we have these files here. Next step is we're gonna hop into GTA 5's main directory. I play on Epic Games, and if you don't know how to get there, I'll show you. You go to your local disk or C drive, program files, Epic Games, GTA 5. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy some of the DLC packs that I want to keep because when we update the RPF, it's going to wipe out everything. I'm telling you, it's gonna wipe out your DLC list.xml. It's gonna wipe out your DLC packs and start from new. So I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna show you how to back up some of those files so that you don't have to go through and do it again. So I'm going into my GTA 5 main directory, mods folder. I'm gonna click update x64 DLC packs. Now I've already done this, but I just selected the mods that I wanted to save, which were my GSXR, my EMF folder, and my EMF single player folders. And I just literally took them out and put them on my desktop for now. The next step we need to do is we need to open up Open4. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can uh, make sure that your DLC list doesn't get wiped out completely. Okay, so we are inside of Open4. Let me maximize this and I'm going to click edit mode at the very top here and say yes. Then I'm going to go into my mods folder, update, update RPF, common data. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to locate my DLC list.xml. I'm going to hit edit, right click, hit edit. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to do the same thing. I am simply going to highlight the mods that I want to keep on my DLC list just like that, nothing crazy. And I'm gonna hit copy. And then I'm gonna open up a text file. So I'm gonna open up notepad real quick. I'm just gonna paste those into this document real fast, okay? Just like that. All right. All right, go ahead and close. Now, just to let you guys know, any packages that you've installed using the uh, package installer, those are all going to be wiped out. So you're gonna have to reinstall Anything that replaced files, you're gonna to have to use a package installer again. In my case, it was Real Gun Sounds, um, Visual V for graphics mods, and I believe uh, one other mod. It, um, but as long as you have those OIVs installed, they are going to be wiped out when you update. So just make sure that you're aware of that. You are going to lose your DLC packs, you're going to lose your modified DLC list, and you're probably gonna lose any mods that were installed via a package installer, okay? Just keep that in mind. So now that we're done, we've got the item lines we wanna save, I've got the mod folders I wanna save, simple enough. Minimize open, I'm actually gonna close open for. The next step is I'm going to hop into Epic Games, go to my library, and then right here are these three little dots. I'm gonna click that and click verify. What this is going to do is the files that we downgraded yesterday, this is going to re-download them to the latest version, okay? And then the next step after this is we're gonna hop inside of Open4. This step may take a little bit of time because it has to actually download the files from the internet. All right, now we have finished verifying our files. Let's go ahead, let's hop back into our main GTA 5 directory here. And I'm going to locate our newly downloaded script hook V. And the only two files I'm going to select out of here are the dinput8.dll and the script hook V.dll. I am not going to use the native trainer. I'm going to drag these over to GTA's main directory. And I will replace these files. There you have it, folks. Now that we have script hook V installed, you know, you could just stop it right here if you want. But I'm going to show you the next step that's going to happen inside of Open4. So we're going to open up Open4 now. And this is the part where it's going to overwrite our previously modified update.rpf with the newer RPF. It's going to let us know that, hey, our version is outdated. Let's make an updated one for our mods folder. 
All right, so here we have it inside of Open 4. It immediately let us know Grand Theft Auto 5 title update. You have outdated version of update.rpf in your mods folder. You need to copy new version of update.rpf into your mods folder. Otherwise, your game might crash. Let's go ahead and click copy new version to mods folder. All right, it says all changes you have made to your mods update RPF folder uh, and your archive will be lost. We're going to hit yes. That's why we backed these files up. And we have this text file with some DLC list entries as well. Alrighty, so that's going to take its time and it's going to do its thing. We'll catch up when it's done updating. Alrighty, we're done updating our new update RPF. Let's hop inside of our mods folder. We're going to go to update, update RPF, common data, and we're going to scroll down for that DLC list.xml. Let's go ahead and click edit mode. And we're going to right click DLC list, hit edit. I'm then going to scroll down to the bottom here. And I'm going to open up that notepad I have with some DLC list entries. I'm just going to copy those. Hit enter and paste them right down in there. Now, if you guys have vehicles, remember, you're going to have to update your game config. So now that I have my DLC list entries that I wanted to save, I'm going to hit save. And this next step we can do inside of Open 4 or not. So we could go to our GTA 5 main directory, click on mods here. Go to the update folder, X64 DLC packs, and we can simply drag these right back in. There we go. Now, I don't have the GSXR included in my items list on my DLC list, but that's okay. We can always edit that in anytime. If we were to do this in Open 4, we would go to our mods folder, update D uh, X64 DLC packs, and you can see we have those also inside of Open 4. All right, guys, that is, I think that's it. I think that's all we had to do. You can now enjoy GTA 5 with this latest update. Let's hop inside Los Santos and see if it worked. And one way we're going to know that this works is you're going to see Franklin spawn in with some golden dreadlocks in whatever other clothing mods I may have installed. If it doesn't work, the game is either going to crash or we're not going to see Franklin wearing any of that cool dope new gear. Oh, okay. Hey, scoop. just littering our asses off. That is going to do it, guys and girls. We are loaded in. We got our custom mods. Where did that damn cup go? I think he threw it in the trap. Let's see. We got any weapons here? Yep, we got our little assault. Our P90. Looks like everything is good, guys. Everything is working as it's supposed to. Everything's working as it's supposed to. I'm your dude, very high guys, and I hope to see you in another GTA 5 tutorial video. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up, leave some comments if you got questions. And why aren't you subscribed to this channel already, dude? Like 91% of you guys are just freeloading off the information I provide you. Well, that boy is gone. Until the next video, guys, I'm your dude. Very high. Stay safe, stay dangerous, and by all accounts, man, just don't get caught. Dude, this guy does not want to get caught. Come on, man, get your fat ass out the car.